welcome back to my Kyoto vlog. Today's very exciting because I'm going to my number one favorite spot in Kyoto. Super excited, it's called Arashiyama. I think most people know of this place for like, it's a bamboo forest, but I just love it. There's a bunch of different temples and shrines, obviously the famous um, bamboo forest. And also, a lot of people don't know this, but like there's actually a mountain that's in the back. And if you hike up the mountain, there are monkeys on the top of the mountain. I feel like we've been getting really unlucky with this weather. Every time it says sunny, it's, it's, it's so cloudy. I'm definitely a sunny type of girl and I cannot stand ugly weather. Yeah, today was supposed to be like the best weather, so save the best day for the best activity. Today's video is in partnership with Teamy. So if you're anything like me while you're traveling, the morning time is a hassle. Everyone has to get ready. You gotta figure out where you're going. You gotta get out the house. There's just a lot to do in the morning when you're traveling. And then on top of all that, everyone is hungry. So I think a very easy thing to do is to just make breakfast from your hotel, your Airbnb, wherever you're at before you head out. That way you're not like starving in a rush to get to wherever you need to go. You got enough fuel to make it there. One thing that I absolutely love while I'm traveling is my green smoothies, not only for the convenience and the speed and time, but also for the detox. I swear, every time I travel, that is my chance to just eat anything and everything. But at the same time, if I eat all that stuff, I will have a major stomach ache. I'll be feeling sluggish. I won't have any energy. It's just, it's not, it's not good. So I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie for breakfast and it's super, duper easy now. I have their TV Mix It Smoothie Maker. Oh my God, I love this thing. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this in about 10 different other videos. I'm completely obsessed. It's just a portable smoothie maker. It charges with a USB. It's super small, cute, and easy to pack. Not to mention the actual container can act as a cup. So you don't even need a cup. You can just blend it right in there and drink it straight out of the jar. Really, really easy to pack. It did not take up much space in my luggage. And I even used the box. I didn't want to put the whole thing in there, but I wanted to show you guys what it would look like if you did want to pack the entire box. I'm also going to be using some of my tea me greens absolutely love this product i drink it every single week some of the ingredients it has matcha spirulina wheatgrass there are 16 superfoods inside 100 plant-based vegan gmo free gluten-free dairy-free soy free all that jazz no additives no artificial flavors no artificial coloring none of that junk so we went to the grocery store when we got here we picked up some bananas and they're finally like ripe enough because i kind of like mine a little bit sweet and I also brought some nuts with me. I got these at the grocery store as well. This is just like a mixture of nuts. I see pumpkin, pine, and there's also some goji berries in there. I love goji berries with my green smoothies because it's just like super antioxidant, antioxidant packed. packed. I'm literally just gonna be using the greens, a banana, and some water. And then I'm gonna top this with some nuts just to make it more filling um, to hold us off until we get to our destination. So this is super duper easy, super fast. I'm gonna sit out on the balcony and drink my smoothie and then we're gonna get going. I do have a coupon code for you guys if you guys are interested in either of these products. Highly, highly recommend. I use them all of the time. Ash is looking at me like he wants one. Can I have one of those? Here is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this white dress from Meshki. Oh my God, this dress is so, so freaking pretty. I was saving it for my European trip, which clearly isn't happening. So I went on ahead and used it for today. I'm gonna wear some white tennis because we're gonna be hiking probably. Have on all these rings, which are from Pretty Little Things and um, Shein. I like this one the most. And I already broke a nail, so we're off to a great start. We're just waiting on the taxi, gonna bring down all of our stuff and then run to Arashiyama. <laughs> this place so much the main street is like here and then you turn to go down like the bamboo forest area but i love the main street so much there's like all these shops and like a lot of really tasty food vendors i cannot wait i'm gonna go get everything there's like this really beautiful river at the end of the street it's so nice sometimes you can take boat rides but i'm not sure if they actually have that up right now right, right now, now we're in the bamboo forest yeah sorry guy yeah Definitely the least amount of people i've ever seen in here before i think we might be able to get a really cool shot the last time i came here i didn't even try i was like no point
ways of approaching this area and I definitely recommend going the river route like along the river you're gonna see like a little spot where you can enter and follow the signs to the bamboo forest don't go off of the main street I don't know why it's not as pretty I like the back route much better look at this literally just sitting here in the sun there's like cherry blossoms everywhere and beautiful japanese architecture like i'm in heaven like i was just saying my mama knew what she was doing when she named me i am such a happier person when it's sunny like the difference is so crazy if it's raining i'm literally like the grinch i'm just like roast me roast me alive this is why i got dark marks on my face because i'm over here roasting the dark marks in the sun so i was just sitting here like this i have on a dress ash was like close your legs depends if you're advertising or not understand how some girls can be like prissy and clean and cute like I just spilled a whole bag of nuts in here every purse I have has crumbs at the bottom and not just like a little bit like a lot of crumbs now I got a whole bag of nuts in here and I bet you they gonna stay in here until Halloween but yeah we're just gonna sit down for a little while and enjoy this beautiful Sun and all these cherry blossoms comment down below what is your happy place like what is it that you do that just makes you so freaking happy is it as simple as mine actually mine's not that simple I'm all the way in the Japan so we just got done in the bamboo forest and we came out here to get some snacks before we hike up the mountain I know I want mochi but I'm gonna get a whole bunch of other stuff as well <sighs> This place is magical. So there's mochi, red bean paste, some kind of cream, and then strawberries. This thing is gigantic. Oh my god! A lot of people don't like mochi because I think it like tastes like nothing. But when it has like a lot of stuff with it, it's so freaking good. I recommend dango, like the one that's like roasted in like some kind of sweet soy sauce stuff. A lot of people don't like red bean paste. I love it, but try it out for yourself. Live your own life. Oh. Can I get this one? All right, we're not done with the mochi adventures. This one is aged fried mochi. I love this one. The inside reminds me of like breaded, I don't know, it's really good. Um, and it has a little piece of nori on there. I think even people who don't like mochi would like this one. It's, it's just really good. Okay. It's so good, but I like mochi, so. I thought you don't like mochi. I love mochi. That's why you said you hate it. No. You need to be paying attention. All right, we got two beef croquettes, sesame dumpling, and some taco yaki. Never tried the sesame one, so it smells very sesame. Hot. Oh, it has red bean paste in the middle. Last but not least, this beef croquette. I don't know why, croquettes are like really big in Japan. And the funny thing is, every time I try and order a croquette, they like look at me like I'm crazy. You literally have to just say it in a Japanese accent, like kurokette. Oh, ha. Mmm. Found some more mochi. This one's filled with something I've never seen before. She said it was apple jam. Holy poop, this is good. This is, oh my, oh my, I can't, I don't have words. This is so freaking, I just spit on the camera. I've tried these many times, but usually I get them with like red bean paste, like a custard or something. This one is like, she said apple bean paste jam. I really don't know. is what I was talking about. Like, I've seen it before, but I've never seen it with cherry blossoms, like, everywhere. Can you see that? Bruh. Get coffee real quick. Stop for some coffee. Super cute. I 
just changed clothes to get a little bit more comfortable and also take advantage of this beautiful place. I'm gonna shoot um, one of the pieces from my store today, which is this t-shirt, sneak peek again. All right, so back across the river, we're gonna go on the other side, like away from the city. Over here near the mountain, there's actually a hiking path that you can go on. Up at the top, there's a whole bunch of monkeys. It is amazing. A lot of people don't know about this spot, which is crazy, because it's like a must if you come here. It's such a waste if you don't do it. Tickets cost $5.50 per adult, $2.50 per trial. This is actually not an easy hike. It's like super uphill and there's like benches everywhere because it's that hard. All this beautiful nature reminds me of Camp Keep. Comment down below if you went to Camp Keep and if it changed your life because that junk was so much fun. I don't know if that's just a Cali thing or just like an American thing, but that was fun. We made it to the top and it is monkey time. They're literally just everywhere. It's crazy. You ready to see some monkeys? And this view is so worth it. Look at that view! It's so red! A bit embarrassed. Grab him and hold him. Hold him and grab him. So we're like inside of this area where you can feed them. It's only like a dollar for like a bag of peanuts or a bag of apples. I feel like that's how it should be. The human should be inside in the cage and the animal and the wildlife outside where they belong. Like why are we putting them in cages? They did it right. One eternity later. One hour. One hour, yeah. Thank you very much. Slowly, slowly. This is actually really scary for me. you get a whole hour which is actually I think enough time there's a lot of space to like roll around if you're not scared I think most of the people are back there but someone's a white man Christopher Columbus over here wants to go all the way down the river he's a murderer, he's a murderer. so apparently we're, we're leaving the crowd going all the way down here but it's so pretty especially with all these like cherry blossoms on the side it's like the perfect thing to do after the hike because I'm just exhausted and then he's just gonna make himself more exhausted yeah Trying to find the lake shop that I really like. It's so beautiful. Oh, there it is. I love this place. It's like outdoor seating and you can have drinks and it's just so beautiful. Oh. dedicate a full day to this place because there's just so much to see and do we still didn't even go to like the temple like this is an actual world heritage site and I just feel like it's it's so worth it and I can understand why but we're actually gonna head down to a restaurant for dinner right now my friend Lily recommended it so we gotta go check it out it's actually Italian though it's not it's not Japanese but you know gotta mix it up <laughs> all right we come to the place we're gonna go to for dinner it's called Sagano Yu it's a cafe style resort restaurant <laughs> She walked over here with two bowls of soup. I was like, I didn't order any soup. <laughs> Why is this my drink? This thing is... <laughs> I had a fat head right now, but if my head wasn't so big, oh my god. This is literally a bowl. Go ahead and drink your bowl. Who has a bowl of coffee? Yeah, try this. Is it like girly? It's chocolate. It's like hot chocolate and coffee mix in a bowl. <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> doesn't even need any of that. I think it's for mixing. This is why I don't go to nice places. I got the tomato tuna pasta and he got cabbage chicken. We also got a pancake. Very good. Mm -hmm. 